Look, whatever yeah. I've done, I'm sorry, it won't That's happen right. again. Stuart, look, <coughs> I'll sit there and say, I'm Jay. Yeah. I'm from an online child protection team called Cobra UK. Okay. Right, now obviously I've just come, I've knocked on the door. Yeah, we've just brought you out to a nice safe location. Yeah, that you've I'm agreed with. You're shitting yourself now. You're shitting yourself, but you've got no need to shit yourself because at the end of the day, we, we've not come with any aggression or anything, have we? Okay, now I just I'm need to... I'm scared now. <coughs> well, you have no need to be scared. Okay, um, I just need you to confirm... <coughs> That that's you there, Stuart. That is me, yeah. Okay, and you've been speaking to this child Yes, here. I have been, yes. Okay, fantastic. Right, now I'm going to be recording for your protection and for mine to make sure that I don't hurt you and you don't hurt me. I just want this over and okay. done with, please. Come right. on. Okay, that's no problem, Stuart. <coughs> now, as we had a conversation coming down there, you sat there and said that... Yeah, know, I did. You're, I'm you're, sorry. You're, you're, you're a full mental capacity and everything else, so there's nothing wrong with you apart from you said you've got spinal bifida. Okay? <laughs> Come on, please, just hurry up. Right, okay. Now, may I ask, why have you been speaking to this child? Because I'm a stupid idiot, that's why. Because you're a stupid idiot? Yeah. Okay. I really are, should are you be talking to any more children, Stuart? No, I'm not talking to any more children. You're not? I don't want it anymore. I'm going to get off this website and I'm going to close it down. Right, I don't want you to say the website. No. Okay. But I will close now, it down. I have what I call a magic bag here. Yeah? Right. Go on then, what magic bag? I'm going to go home, I'm going to come off this website, and I'm not going to go back on it again. Why? Yes. Who's that child? It is. That's a different child. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. I will come off this website and that's set. Right. These are real children you're speaking to. I understand. These are real children. And I understand it shouldn't be doing that it. I'm wrong. you are getting to abuse ourselves like I'm wrong with. Yes, I understand I shouldn't be doing it. You are paying children to abuse themselves like. Absolutely wrong. It's disgusting, Stuart. It's just disgusting, I totally agree. Why? Because I'm an idiot and I shouldn't be doing it. How long have you been doing this for, Stuart? I haven't been doing it for long. I haven't been doing it at all normally, I don't normally well, do it. Well, no, I, look, at the end of the day you are doing it because I can tell you that there's, there's, yes. numerous, there's numerous amounts of children that I have here. Real children. Yes, I understand. That you have been speaking to. Some as young as six to eight years of age. I didn't know they were six to eight years old. I'm not like this. It's not what it's looking to like to me, Stuart. Look, I'm sorry it won't happen again. I, I think it's a bit late to say I'm sorry it won't happen again. It's happened. I'm going again. to come off this website as soon as I get home. Stuart, I'm... this has happened again and again and again. How many children do you feel that you've been speaking to? Honestly, man. I don't know. I'm, but just I'm, please I'm... arrest me, just do something. Well, I'm just having a chat with you. The, the police have been called. Are you oh, for there? God's sake! Oh, for God's sake. Calm, calm yourself down, fella. Hang on a minute. Oh. No, he's oh. not heard you. Heard me what? You said, for God's God sake. I said, God's not heard you. Gonna, you're going to arrest me, just calm, do calm, it! Calm yourself down. Oh, calm yourself down. Do not raise your voice again, okay? Calm yourself I'm down. I'm embarrassed now, humiliated. Yeah. Oh, calm I bet down. you are. I bet you are, Stuart. Of course I'm embarrassing you. So the police are going to arrest me? They calm, certainly calm are. But what can I do to stop? What can you, you... You could say, oh, God, again, and perhaps you might help. Look, I'm supposed to be going out today. Where is you going, Stuart? To see my niece and nephew. How oh. old are they, Stuart? Five and eleven. Five and eleven. Hmm. <laughs> Looking forward to that, were you? Looking forward to that, I bet. Look, is he going to... Look, I want to go home, but come on. Listen, listen, mate, don't shout and scream, okay? We're doing this quietly and subtly so the neighbours can't hear. If you shout and scream and they understand why we're here, the risk is going to raise to yourself. We need you to stay calm. Look, come on, let me down. go home! Do you really want your neighbours to know what you've been doing? Because with you raising your voice as such... I want to go home, to find come out. on. Well, let's keep this quiet. Once the police have dealt with you... Oh, come on! Calm down. 
Listen, buddy. My mum's up there. Just go and get her. Go and get my mum from the house. Put your hands down. Go and get my mum from the house, please. I've already spoken to your mum. She won't come to the door. Okay. Try to get you some shoes. Please, just get to my mum. Put your voice down. My dad, anything. Just do something. I don't want to go to jail. What's happening here is we're in control of this situation, not you. Look, come you're on! You're going to relax yourself and you're going to take it easy, okay? Police unit's going to be here shortly. Calm yourself down. What is going to happen to me? Calm yourself down. You're going to arrest me, aren't they? Of course well, they I'm, are. Uh, well, Steve, uh, what we're going to well, do, we're going to pass this over. Oh, come yeah. on, mate. Yeah. I'm going to do it again. I'm sorry. Shh, Stuart, there's no need to shout, is there? Yeah. Right? You know, I'm only two metres away from you. Look, I'm embarrassed and humiliated. I shouldn't have done it. I totally shouldn't have done it. So I've got a problem. I shouldn't be doing this. I need help. Have you got an attraction to children? No, I've not got an attraction to children. You haven't? No. Can I ask them why you you, you pay these children online to... I haven't paid them children online at all. When, when you buy the items that you're buying and you gift them to these children... I'm not buying the gifts online and gifting them. You are. You gift, you gift. How do you know? You gifted one of the children. You sure it's me? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. How do you know it's me? You, you gifted one of the children last night. When? Okay. What a gift up? Last night, you, you gave, you gave her some coins. That was some face cast. No, I don't want you to be naming it. I, I, t I told you. Look, I yeah. want to go home now. Now, come on. Well, unfortunately, yeah, me and you are going to have a conversation until the police turn up. All right, and then I'm going to be passing this over. Now, how many other children have you gifted money to? I haven't gifted money to anyone apart from that one. You can't buy just nine coins. I haven't got I haven't got many coins on there anyway. But you, 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 you are, yeah, sitting there saying to these children, yeah, you, you, you want them to take photographs, you want them to get into their knickers. I'm oh, sorry, I'm listen, I'm really, I'm fucked up human being. I shouldn't be doing it. I need mental health help and I'll be going to get some help as soon as it's over and done with. You're threatening these children as well, aren't you? That's the problem we've got. Yeah, and I'm... You're threatening them that you're going to report them, that you're going to tell their parents. You're manipulating these children to do what you want them to do, but with, with the threat of reporting them on a website, trying to get them to send you pictures of, of underwear and stuff. Do you, do you think that's right? No, you it's should not be doing right. That. No, it's not right. You're, you're, black, you're it's, blackmailing. It's way out of order, and I admit it. I'm, abs I'm, a fuck, I'm really... And I totally admit I should not be doing that. It's blackmailing real well, children. Yes, I know, and it's wrong. Totally wrong. Does it, does it make you... What it makes you, me feel sick. It makes you feel sick? Yeah. But why, why would you do this to a child? Why, why would you sit there and say that you'd tell their parents... Because I am stupid... If they don't strip down to... Because I'm stupid, pathetic, dumb, and... I need real help. I don't want to go to jail. Well, unfortunately, it's, it's, that's not for me to decide. That's for a court to decide. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! I thought you wanted to chat with me. We did. I know you called the police and that. That's right. So what's the <laughs> point of being nice to me and being down here? I'm still being nice to you. Can't I? Can't Have I called you any names? My mum lives up there. Okay, so your mum. Well, why don't you go and get my mum and speak to her then? Well, she's going to sit there and say, Would you like me to tell your mum what you've been doing? Yes, go and tell mum. You, you really would like me to tell your mother what you've been doing? Yeah, children. I think you would. I would actually. She'll really? kick my ass out of the house. She really will hurt me. Will she really? I hope she would. I hope she would as well. But, you know, unfortunately, I've, I've got a duty of care for you. I totally agree with you. So I can't let her actually kick you around the place. I mean, what a day to do it on Mother's Day. Mm. Stupid. Yeah. Very stupid. I just want to go home now. Well, uh, as I say, you know, you can have a chat with the police officers when they come here. If the police officers decide that you can go home, then you can go home. Yeah. They're not going to let me go home, are they? Because I'm being an idiot. I really don't know. I haven't got a time machine, so I can't go into the future and I can't look, I'm afraid, Stuart. I just want this to overdo and never do it again and forget about it. I'm afraid after all the victims that you have, yeah, this has to be looked What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off this website, I'm going to cancel it, and get a new phone, come off the internet completely. That is what I'm gonna do. Really? Really. So why did it start off with? Because I'm a f up to society. I am a stupid, pathetic human being. As I say again, 
Have you been recording these images and everything of these children? I wouldn't do that. So you're asking them to get naked and then you're not recording it and you're not taking pictures of it or anything else? No, I wouldn't do it. I don't want to do it anymore. So your phone's going to get downloaded, okay? Okay. So if you have images of children or videos on your phone, yeah, that's going to come up. So I you're just want to go home. Stuart, you're better off being honest with us. I haven't got any downloaded image of children. I would never do that. But you would get them to go naked and watch them. I don't want... Listen, mate, I want to go home now. Don't we all? And now I'm scared. Well, no, nobody's frightening you. Why would you be scared? Because I'm scared I could go to jail for this, for one stupid mistake. One? I've just showed you three children. Three children. Two, twelve and a fourteen. I can't yeah. believe I've just done this. What am I doing? Exactly. What am what I doing, doing to myself? What am I doing? I need help. And you've just realised that? I've realised it for ages and I just now, after all this, now I really How long have you been doing it for? How long have you been on these live apps talking to kids? I months? don't talk to Six kids months? normally. No, you don't. So how, how long have you been on these live apps for? That one for about a few months, face cast. A few months, okay. Please stop saying the app yeah. names and stuff like that. There's no need for you that. You just told me what you're the app, so I'm going to yeah. tell you the app name. So how, how, how long have you been on, on, on the internet talking to children for? I don't talk to children normally. Well, you do? So has it been going on for six months? I year? don't know. Okay. And none of these kids have sent you any images? No. In fact, they told me to fuck off. I don't believe you. Well, they've deleted my number and told me to get lost, basically. So you've pestered That's... children so much they've had to, to, to block and delete you? Yes, indeed. Okay, what does that... Do you not think that would be a good point in your life to perhaps stop doing what you're doing? Yes, I think it is. So what made you continue? I don't know. I just do not know. Do you have any idea the severity of the situation no, you find I, yourself in? I do now. I am really need to sort my, my life out. Okay, so how are you going to sort yourself like that? What are you going to do? I'm going to have to go and speak to a doctor and try and get me some serious help. It's the wake-up call I needed. So thank you guys. Okay, so why are you so angry with us? I'm not angry, you're angry myself. You got any historical charges for things like this? No, I haven't. Past? You have been in trouble with the police or anything of this nature? <laughs> what, anything at all? Anything, maybe even something minor? No. Mm. Tell the truth. About 16 years ago. What did you get in trouble for 16 years ago, buddy? Touching the girl's leg, I've got a caution for that. So you saw, you've been cautioned for touching a real child in the past, yeah? On the bus, yes. On the bus. How many years ago? 16 years ago? That's 16, 16 years, years ago, ago. And, and you got a caution for touching, touching a real child. That it goes to show what a fucking abortion this law is here, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I totally a agree. A caution. Absolutely agree. I should have gone to jail for two years for what I did. How old was the child? Was it young? About 15. And that was how long ago? 16 years ago. And so then anything so between now and then? No, nothing between them. That you've been caught for? Nope. Right. Were you put on the sex offenders register at the time? Yes, for five years. Mmm. Mmm. I need to Which go home. Adds up to what we thought. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What? Oh, we just had a suspicion you were we, we just had a, a suspicion. I'm not an you. offender. You, you're a re offender. You are. I don't want, I want, I don't want to go to jail. Well, that's. Oh, let me go home. Come on. You can go home in a minute. Once, once the police turn up. Well, when are the police going to turn yeah. up? Because they're not here yet. They, huh? They've been called. Well, how long ago we're were they called? We're waiting for them. Yeah, you know, at the moment, just a second ago, you were thanking us. Yeah, Thank so, you for catching me. I okay, totally so, agree. So I need to sort myself out. This is part of your rehabilitation. Right. Yeah? You don't well, want going to, to jail is not rehabilitation, Look, is it? At the end of the day, Stuart, we don't want to rush your rehabilitation, do we? So, you know, if everything was rushed and they was here straight away and you went there straight away, it just wouldn't work, would it? So let's take it How am I going to explain to my mum when I go home what I'm doing? I don't know. That's, that's something that, you know, you should have thought of, Stuart. When I you should have thought of it. Yeah, I totally you? agree. You seem to be really angry with everybody else. I'm angry with myself. I've got mental yeah. health issues completely, and I need to sure. sort myself out. I asked you if you had mental health issues. I do have and mental you health issues. No. I do have mental health so, issues. So what is wrong with you, Stuart? 
I've got anxiety and I've got depression. You've got anxiety and you've got depression? And I'm on fluxetine tablets. Okay, so how did that make you touch children? That does not make me touch children, that's no excuse. Totally, I haven't touched a child a long time ago. Did you have men, did, did you have uh, depression and anxiety when you I were probably did children, actually, but I didn't get diagnosed about four or five years ago. Mm. I've probably had it all my life. You seem to be very angry. Of course I'm, I'm very angry. Everybody else apart from... I'm angry myself for what I've just done. Take a deep breath. Because I'm angry I know what's going to happen to me now. Well, listen, we're with you raising something. your voice, you're letting everybody yeah, in the yeah, neighbourhood yeah. know what's yeah. going on. And we don't want that. You're letting everybody know what's going on, Stuart. And unfortunately, Stuart, people don't like the sort of thing that you I do. understand that, absolutely right. agree. Because so, I don't like them so myself, for actually. for your own protection, Stuart... I don't like them myself. I always keep your voice down. I don't like them myself, Okay. Personally. I've seen some very nasty people come up to people like you and give them a good mm. twat. All right. and I, I know. Don't, I don't really want that to happen while I'm here, because I've got to protect you. Yeah, I'd rather it happen when I'm not here. Then I don't have to protect you. You know, but if you want to shout out and let everyone know around this Look, street. I think paedophiles are disgusting. I think what I've been doing is disgusting. Mm. Totally disgusting. And I'll admit it, I am a disgusting human being for what I have done. I have got to sort myself out now. Because if I don't... We'll be here again. Mm. Absolutely. And I don't want to go to jail now for what I've done. So what do you think you should get for this this year? I first should get a warning, a warning. A boot up the arse, being scared the shit off, being scared the shit out of me, basically. Can I ask you something, though, Stuart? That warning didn't work on you last time, did it? It probably, obviously, didn't. You know, no. You're I should have had this whole shit out But Stuart, get... you're walking around now, yeah, screaming, shouting, right? Not a care in the world. I care and in that, the world. And I'm... that poor child on that bus still lives with that. Probably I'm daily. Yeah. Probably daily. Yeah, probably does yeah, actually. Right. So And I wish I could meet that child now and I wish I could apologise. Oh, I bet she wish she <laughs> could. No, I wish I would could apologise yeah. to her and tell her what I did was wrong. Well why don't you start by you know, what about these children? I don't know. I would love to apologise to them children. I would how don't I I'd love to. How do, how do you think that scars them children? What? How, what what do you think that what effect what you've done to them children? It would basically put her off getting boys for the rest of her life, basically. Put her off getting off boy, getting boys. It would. Do, do you really think it's, it's that simple for for a survivor? No, I think it's absolutely not a survivor. Absolutely not. I think they, I think they've had trust issues. I think they'd have everything else that I can't say. Everything else that you can't say. What can you say? Well, what do you want me to say? Start by apologising. I do apologise for what I have done. Absolutely apologise. I mean, the issue is, you know, what, what you've done is, is disgusting. Do you think I need to change my phone or something like that? Or come off? I think it's a bit more serious than just changing your phone. Yeah, you I, 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 don't, I don't think swapping from EE to O2 is going to No, work what yet. I mean is... You need removing from the internet forever. That's what I mean. You need to be monitored very, very closely because you're a dangerous individual. You can shout at us all you like, but we know how dangerous you are. We've come, you know, we've come to deal with you today because of the urgency around you. It doesn't matter how, how much you shout at us and, and try and raise your voice. No. I think you're in control of the situation. I'm, no, not, I'm, I'm the not, chickens have come home to roost I'm today, not blaming pal. you. I'm blaming myself for what I've done. Yeah. What you're doing is just shouting a load of waffle. And what we're doing is explaining to you that you can't continue with your behaviour like this. It's unacceptable. I need to buy a phone without an internet, basically. No, it's not the phone's fault. It's your fault. Absolutely, it's you my need, fault. You need to adjust I your want mindset. I need to take responsibility for what I've done. You need to stop having an attraction to children somehow and start focusing on being a normal human being. Because we won't stand for people like you. Absolutely agree. And if I was in your shoes, I'd be exactly the same. The thing is, I sure, you know, you're actually still in denial that you've got yeah. an attraction to children. I've not got an attraction to children. So, so maybe what? I. Okay, okay. Explain to me. Why would you like to sit there and see a child naked? Why are you blackmailing children, yeah, to strip naked, live online, so you can watch them? I don't know. I really Why are you don't... doing it? Because I'm a stupid, absolute fool, basically, for doing it. Why do you talk about children's panties so much? You've got a thing for kids' pant underwear, have you? No. No. Maybe I'm just a complete fuck-up to Ma society. Maybe. Yeah. 
Ooh. Absolutely. Children's underwear. I would do it tri as well. Children's. I don't. <laughs> to start. Children's this... underwear is private. Yes, I understand. Yeah, that. You, you asked this child. Yeah, to send you underwear. Yeah, I know. <laughs> totally right. agree. What was you going to do with it? I don't know. Chuck it away. Chuck it away. So, so you asked someone to send you some underwear so you could throw in the bin? Yeah, I would actually. Is she not capable of throwing it in the bin herself? Absolutely, she is. So what was you going to do with this, Stuart? I don't know. You know, what? at the end of the day, chuck you, it away. You, you haven't asked someone to sit there and send you a pair of knickers, yeah, so you could throw them in the bin. You know, and you asked, I think, one knickers, wasn't it? I've got to sort myself out now. I think you do, yeah. We, it's, it's, we, it's, we, know it's, why, we know why you want people to send you um, child's underwear. In, in I've the, got in, to sort myself in out. In the mail. It's because you get a level of set, sexual gratification from that. Sexual gratification from children's underwear. What sort of a wrong one does that make you? A complete wrong one. Absolute muppet. Completely unacceptable totally behaviour, mate. You know, you can't behave like that. No, I know I can't behave like that. And I've got to stop now. What sort of a man? It doesn't make me a man. Children I'm not a man, I'm a coward. What sort of man blackmails children online to send them their underwear in the post? I'm not a man. Does it get any thicker than that? It gets fucking stupid. I mean, there's not I'm much up there, is there? No, I'm fucking stupid in the head, basically. Oh, I, it's I completely agree. Absolutely stupid of me. The, uh, hmm? Stripey dressing gown. Take that inside of you, with any luck. I'm going to ask you as well. I mean, you, you are... This, this last child that you're speaking to, to um, I don't do it. I've got to speak. Do you know who that is? That's my sister over there, by the way. Oh, right, okay. So she agrees with what you're doing, does she? No, she won't. She'll kick my ass, basically. Okay. Um, sorry. Can you can you just hold that a second, and I'll, I'll uh, sort this out. Okay. Good luck explaining to her. At some point, you're going to have to. I would have to, and I'll explain it to them as soon as I get home. And I hope I get banned from seeing them. You said earlier on you were going to see your nephews. How would you feel if somebody was doing this to your nephews? I would fucking kill them. Absolutely. I would fucking do time for them as well. So, Stuart, why did you not think of that at, this, at exactly the same time? Who's here, Stuart? Uh, anyone got a folder? So I can show you the evidence to the police officer. Enjoy your rehabilitation, Stuart. Right, Stuart, what's happening is our colleague is, is going to present the evidence that we've got to the policeman there. And he's going to arrest me, isn't he? I suggest yes. at this point you keep your voice down. The police are going to analyse the information that's contained in that evidence and they're going to make a decision as to whether or not you should be arrested, OK? OK. I'd say the chances are slim that you are. But I will probably will be arrested then, won't I? I? I sincerely hope so. We hope so. And probably. <sighs> How many devices have you got indoors? One. Is that mobile phone or a laptop? Mobile phone. Okay, thank you. I'm going to have to sort myself out now. What's going to happen is the police are going to seize your mobile devices and they're going to forensically download those devices and they're going to be able to see all the material that you've been what? Sent, that you've googled for, for the last 10 years or so even if you've deleted obscene images they will still be able yeah, to they can get forensically it get those <laughs> who's that lady there my sister oh, does she know you talk to children on the internet well she will now <laughs> And whose fault is that, Stuart? That's yours, isn't it? Not ours. That's my problem. Absolutely. I ain't blaming you. <laughs> it's a very simple way to stop this happening, Stuart, and that's don't talk to children on the internet. Yeah, I totally agree. do that, we'll be back. Yeah, mm. I totally agree. Time and time again. Yeah, and I totally agree with you. And I'm going to stop going using online websites. The problem isn't the websites, the problem's you. The problem is me. You know, and been, I've got to sort myself out been, now. You've been punished for touching a real child. That should have been a wake-up call for you, yeah? And this is a, now definitely a wake-up call. Because you've been allowed access And maybe I should have had this years Stop ago. Raising because you've been allowed the internet, you've continued to... Maybe offend. I should have had this years ago. Yeah, you definitely should have had it years ago. It's up to me, you'd have been locked away in the key phone, right? Touching a real child on the bus. 
completely unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And I've got to have some, and, and I need. I don't know what to do. I just do not know what I'm going to do now. Tell the truth, Stuart. I'll be telling you the truth today. I don't know what to do, so I'm giving you some suggestions. The first one will be to tell the truth. I just want to go home, basically. When the police take you in for an interview, be honest with them. Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> Sister's loyal, isn't she? Well, of course she's loyal. She's my sister, for goodness' sake. No, my sister wouldn't be loyal to me if I was doing that. Actually, she won't be loyal when I get home. She will kick my ass. Believe me. What do you think the parents of these children would be doing? They would absolutely scare the sh kick the shit out of me. Absolutely. Because there's more cockers here, does it? Yes, it does, unfortunately. Because you're rather a, a, an aggressive little man. I want to go home. Is what I want to do. Well, right, mate. Thank you for your quick response. Um, we'll work out what's going on, mate, and then we'll go from there, okay? I just want to go home, is what I want in, to do. In terms of your disabilities, what do you suffer from? Spinal bifida. Right, okay. I you... want to go home, is what I want okay, to do. I get that, but obviously we've been called here, so we need to work out what's going on, and then we're going to go from there, okay? So bear I don't, with us. Listen, I want to go home, and it will never happen again. Really yeah. won't happen well, we again. We have to investigate it, don't I we? I totally agree, but I want to go home. You provided some details, I guess. Sorry. The rule on the um, uh, yeah. MG11s and the Gentleman Gentleman over there. Yeah. In terms of your disability, can you walk and aid it? Yeah, but I've got, I've got splinter shoes at the house. Okay, so what, it's we're not going to take your shoes, you need to hide. Yeah. Okay. And yes, you can walk, walk 200 okay. yards on here. So, what have you got? Spina bifida? What else? Mental <laughs> health. I should have had this years ago. I'm sorry. The thing is, the children you've been speaking to and asking them to do obscene things, they're, not they're going, to be... going to be remembering this for the rest of their yes, lives. Yes, and I know they would. And I feel utterly ashamed of myself and what I've done to them. I really am utterly ashamed of myself. How would you feel if one of these children committed suicide? It would destroy me. No, it yes, it would. You have no respect for children. It would destroy me completely no, because no, of what I have done. You have no respect for children too. If that was the case, you wouldn't have done it to start you, with. You wouldn't have done. You, when, you, when you first got caught for touching a child on a bus and cautioned, that would have been a wake up call. You'd have stopped doing it then if you had any respect for children. You have no respect for children. I have respect for and what children. What you're going to face now is the, is the law. I no. don't want to face the law. I want to go home, just get a warning and move. Oh, yeah, yeah. All we do hundreds of these. I know you do hundreds of hundreds these. Hundreds and hundreds. And I want guilty. to go home. I don't want to do this again. Go not guilty, we'll be in court. And the thing is, members of your family are going to have to be spoken with as well if they have young children. Like your nephew and niece. Yeah, I know they are. Yeah. We lose access to your nieces and nephews. And Good, I hope I do. We might we break up to our fucking knees. Yeah. I mean, you shouldn't be anywhere near children. No, and I agree. Hopefully for a little while and hopefully in time they'll forgive me and probably won't be interested in them when they grow up, will you? How do you how do you know do you, do you know that, eh? Just a stab in the dark, mate. Stab in the dark? You know nothing about my life. Oh no no. I just want to go home. I think that shows the the absolute bottom line it's all about you isn't it it's not all about me it is well it is because all, all you're doing is saying what you want us to hear it's all about you all it's you've been doing children all you've been doing the whole doing. time we've been here is telling us what you think we want to hear you say well what would you like me to say you're Be honest. sorry you've been caught really that, that's the fact of the matter otherwise you would be still doing this <laughs> This has got to 
I'm going to have to sort myself out. Should have done that, Stuart, when you first been spoken to about touching the child on the bus. It's like we're going to get that lawsuit. I want to go home, please. You're not going home. You're going to get arrested. And then what's going to happen is the police are going to forensically look at your, your mobile devices and see what else is on there. And then the appropriate safeguarding is going to be done to any children we're not aware of. Yeah, basically your, your sister there is going to get a visit from social services to talk to, you, talk to your nephew and niece and any other kids that you, you talk to. Yeah. The problem is, mate, the problem is children on the internet don't make it... Mate, I'm not your mate. You're, no, you're right, actually. You're not my mate. No, children, you're not my mate. Ch children, children on the internet who come across online sexual predators need to be safeguarded. Yeah, totally agree. They need the appropriate chats with to make sure that, you know... I just thought it was going to be a quick chat and I'll be going back home. Yeah? Is that what you thought? Well, that's what you told me. Yeah. So, a quick so, chat, go home. Why did you I'll tell me that if you thought that was going to happen? He never mentioned that you'd be going back home afterwards. <clears throat> we were told, told to three know, minute chat. I know, but do you really uh, think you're going to do what you did? You do what you've done and you're just going to have a quick chat and then go home? How Love many carries on it as normal for you. How, yeah. many, how many children... Um, just roughly, do you think will need to be spoken to, safeguarded? How many, how many in total do you Probably think you're talking to? More than 50? I don't know how no, many. No, no, just roughly, just so we can let the guys know. Do you think it's 25? Maybe less than 50, I don't know. More than 20? In total, I mean like the whole months you said you've been using the app. Do you maybe, think I'm not sure. About sort of maybe 30, 40, 50 odd kids? Do you realise the severity of it? Yeah. And why we do what we do? Yeah, I understand. And you're totally right what you do as well. So you, you, you've, you've been quite honest there, and I appreciate that. So I'm, I'm, you, not, you, I'm not going to lie to you. So you, you believe you're talking to sort of in excess of 20 or 30 children over the time that you've been on the apps, is that right? Maybe. Just give us a ballpark number. You don't have to be 100% right. Just Probably about that, I don't know. About what? There's adults on that website as well. No, no, I'm only interested in the ones that have said that they're children, they're the obvious children. And how many out of those do you think have sent you um, images? Not necessarily. None. I've seen ones, but. Probably none. How many, Stuart? Come on, be honest with us. Probably none, because they've already told me to go away or I've come off it straight away and they've blocked me. Okay, so you've never received it, not even one image, is that what you're trying to say? Absolutely not. Mm. Okay. And I don't know why I've done it to now. I don't know why I'm doing it now. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't believe it. You don't have to believe me, do you? No. no. I know myself I have not known any images. What are you going to say in your interview? Are you going to go guilty or not guilty? Probably guilty. Probably. I just want to go home is what I want to do. I don't want to go to prison jail and this. The easiest way to stay at home is to is to not talk to children on the internet and appropriately. Yeah, really. It's an offence to even... Talk to a child, yeah, I know. And I'm an idiot for doing it. So just arrest me, please. The guys are looking at the evidence. We'll be doing that shortly. Yeah. Hurry up, just get on with it. Is that your favourite dressing gown? No, that's the only one I've got. It doesn't even fit me. No, I was going to say it doesn't fit. No, it doesn't fit. Well, I've got to sort myself out, because if I don't... How long did we go now? What are you doing to yourself? I don't know what to do. All I can say is when you get interviewed by the police, be honest. When it goes to, if if or when it goes to court, you, you go to court. Yeah, you plead guilty, and then you and then you're home sooner. You plead not guilty, you, you're home. You're right. You're in there for longer. I'm gonna go to jail anyway. Mm. They're just they're just they're just waiting for another unit. Oh, for God's sake! All right, calm down. Why are you such an aggressive little man? <laughs> have you always been angry? Yes, I have actually. Right, well, the more you raise your voice the more the police would deal with you as an aggressive person. I just want to go home is what I want to do. Uh, but you need to stay calm. 
And the amount of How aggression... can I stay calm? Am I going to get arrested for what I've done? The amount of aggression you're showing is quite frightening. I've just been doing what I've done on the internet, Aunt Sarah, and I'm sorry, OK? Calm down, I'm about to get arrested here. Oh no! Chap, can you come in? Let's come sit in your own car, please. Don't, don't, don't end that life. You're gonna arrest me, aren't you? Yeah, go and make your. Can we make that yeah? now? Alright, guys. Well, there he goes. So, um. Anyway, um. A bit of a highly charged young chap, isn't he? Um. I want to say a massive, massive, massive well done to the Den and Sheepdog. You, you lot are absolutely amazing. Um, you're angels. I admire absolutely everything you do. You are absolutely amazing, guys. Um, the way that you protect real children. Uh, I take my hat off to you. And um, thank you so much for um, getting in. That's all I can say, really. Um, I'm going to have to go and see the place now. He's in the back of the car. Um, job well done. Uh, job very, very well done. As I say, well done Sheepdog. And well done the den. Absolutely amazing, guys. I take my hat off to you.